Well, it has been a very, very interesting week for your boy on social media because, I mean, surprise, surprise, I found myself at the center of controversy once again. This seems to be happening more and more often, and I have some theories as to why, which we'll talk about later on in the video. But if you noticed, if you just follow me on YouTube, the only thing you might have noticed was that I changed the thumbnail of my Stellar Blade video. Now, some people said I was bending the knee, and you might be saying, well, what did you bend the knee on? Well, Twitter went absolutely gaga over that video, and specifically the thumbnail of that video. And so I kind of want to talk about that situation, kind of what I learned from it, why I changed the thumbnail, and then I guess just my sort of reaction to the reaction from social media. So in that video, obviously I was talking about the IGN France article about Stellar Blade and just all the weird, almost like sexist stuff that the individual who wrote the article was saying and just how like that seems to be the focal point of the game instead of the game itself. And you know, how cultures are different and how people view art as different ways. I mean, there's all sorts of different movies out there. So why are we trying to limit, you know, what you can do in a video game? But in that, in that video, I stand by everything I said. Now, obviously some of that stuff was, you know, a bit tongue in cheek, like the freedom fries 2.0. That was clearly a joke. But like when it came to the serious stuff that I said in that video, like trick daddy said, if I said it, I mother effing meant it. And I do mean what I said in that video. And if you agreed with that video, that's cool. If you disagreed with that video, that that's cool. You're allowed to do that. That's the whole thing about putting something out there into the world. People are not always going to agree with you. And that's that's okay. I, I expect that. I encourage that. I encourage people to have their own opinions on a topic. So then what's the problem? You know, why, why did Twitter get all hung up on this? Well, it had to do with the thumbnail. So let's talk about the thumbnail. The thumbnail of that video, when I made that video, I really didn't know where I was going with it as far as the thumbnail was concerned. So I thought, well, why don't I just make an over-the-top tweet-looking-like thing that IGN France did to essentially summarize what they said in their article because that doesn't change what happened in the article. I didn't use IGN of France's actual Twitter account because I wanted to convey it that it actually wasn't them, but just kind of give the illusion that it was them. And at the time, I, I didn't think much of it. You know, when I made the, the words within the fake tweet, I obviously tried to say it in a way that was just very over the top, but that nuance was lost on a lot of people. And honestly, that's fair. You know, that that's a fair reaction to have. I don't necessarily regret doing that, but if I could go back and turn back time, I probably would have gone in a different direction. And I'll tell you guys why in just a minute. But because of that thumbnail and because of me poking fun at that journalist, Twitter just lost their mind, especially on the journalism side of things. People that I'm cool with, people that I like, they were going after me. People that I don't know were going after me. People that I have blocked or people that have blocked me, I should say, because I don't really block people. People that have blocked me. We're going after me. Some things going very personal and stuff like that, like making fun of my appearance and stuff like that, making memes and stuff. Like it was a big situation. I got community noted on it. And I'm just sitting here like, well, I thought it was clearly a fake tweet. But you know what? I understand people's position on that. I think that's a fair thing to say that that, that thumbnail was a bit over the top. And it conveyed something that wasn't actually, there was no tweet, just an article, but there was no tweet made by IGN France. And I mean, they wouldn't have tweeted in English anyways, once again, kind of playing into the whole, it's supposed to be over the top, but you know what? I get it. And so I changed the thumbnail. And of course, when I changed the thumbnail, I made a post about it. I was like, you know what? That's a fair, that's a fair thing to say. I'm going to go ahead and change the thumbnail. And people are like, oh, you're bending the knee. You're, you're giving into the woke mob and all of this sort of stuff. And First off, I, I, these mobs, these these lefty and righty people, diehard people, I, these are not my people. I'll be friends with these people because I don't care about people's political ideologies, but I don't consider myself to be anything like that. But as far as bending the knee is concerned, no, I changed that because that's a fair point and it was taken away from the video. Because nobody was watching the video to see what I said in the video. Everyone was hung up on the thumbnail. And they were like, oh, well, this is where we could get them. You know, this is where we can attack this video. 
And now that the thumbnail has changed, there's nothing to attack. Unless you're going to attack what I said in the video. And if you do, to me, in my opinion, that's just kind of weird. I think there should be female characters of all shapes and sizes, you know, and all different levels of aesthetics and stuff like that. Like, I don't see it as a big deal. I'm a, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm not jerking off to video game characters. But I, I guess people do or something like that but you know it is what it is i wanted to change that thumbnail so that the conversation could no longer be hung up on what that thumbnail image was now that the thumbnail image was fine well now what are you going to say about it but i think the most interesting thing to me personally was the reaction from people and the reaction from people that i know or at least i i i know them on a on, on a work related level some of the things that they were saying about me um calling me a grifter calling me right wing and anti-woke um here here's a spoiler i have never i'm not registered to vote i've never voted in my life i think the two-party political system is terrible i essentially am america's nightmare because i think guns are cool and i think abortions are fine so where do i fit in you know what I'm saying? Where, where do I fit in in this Twitter sphere where you have to be one side or another? You can't be in this sort of moral gray area with this. Just some of the things that these people were saying, people that have known me for quite a while and were just so quick to jump on this one thing. And honestly, a lot of them were video game journalists. And I get it. You know, these are your colleagues. These are the people that you see a lot. These are the people that you talk to a lot. Like, I get it. But I am just a different type of person. You can't put me in a box, especially not in a Nintendo YouTuber box, because I'll report you to the FBI. But I'm not, I'm not the average type of person. Like, I've never been the type of person that needs to seek validity from other people and stuff like that, and my, and my peers and stuff like that. Every job I've ever had, I've gone in there on day one and been like, hey, I'm here to make money. If we get along, that's cool. If we don't get along, that's cool. I'm just here to make money. Like, I, I don't need have the need to fit in with a group of people. And I, I really think that's kind of from just the way that I grew up. I moved around so much. Like, it was every year, or every two years. So every time I'd kind of get settled down, like up until high school, I was uprooted. And this wasn't like just moving down the road. This was leaving states sometimes or leaving cities sometimes. And you're never seeing these people again. So for me, I've always kind of been me. I've always just kind of marched to the beat of my own drum. I've always said what I wanted to say, whether or not that got me in trouble. You know, that was that was a situation for that time. So I don't need validity from some people those people that said those things about me and that were referring to me as certain names and stuff like that i have no ill will towards them if they want to be cool with me i'll be cool with them if they want to disassociate from me then disassociate it, it, it's not going to change a single thing about what i do or what i decide to talk about nobody controls my content nobody controls this channel nobody controls my my twitter account if that was the case don't you think Spawn Wave would just be like, get, get away from me? Like, you know, like some of these people that I am clearly friends with, that I've clearly talked to on a daily basis for a long time. Don't you think those people would disassociate from me if I was the person that you're trying to make me out to be? You don't know me. You know what I put out there into the Internet. And then you take some preconceived notion because what I say goes a little bit against the grain. I'm I'm anti-woke I, I thought all the anti-woke people were saying that x-men 97 was terrible because of morph i love x-men 97 i think it's fan this is one of the best things i've seen in an absolutely long time so once again it's this it's this middle ground thinking it's this i don't claim a side or i don't claim a virtue or anything like that and i kind of just think you know think about it like a cult you know, some people are cult followers. Some people are Jim Jones. Some people are David Koresh. And it's like, you know, I'm obviously not going to be a, a follower. I'm not going to go, you know, with the with the mindset that a, a group of people have if I don't necessarily think that. I'm always going to be an independent person. The final thing I want to talk about is um, something that 
was brought to my attention by someone. And I'm not naming names here with people. I'm not trying to call people out, have people be harassing them. Like, I, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about this at the end of the day? Um, but, um, you know, one person that I respect, one person that I like, said, you know, you keep talking about gaming journalists, but you are kind of a journalist in and of yourself. And I thought that was a very interesting statement. And I told them, you know, hey, that's fair. Um, but yeah, I guess to some degree, I mean, obviously when I wrote stuff only, yes, I was, I was a journalist. But when I do YouTube, I don't think of myself as that. I just think of myself as an individual. I'm not representing a company. I'm not representing a brand. I am the company. I am the brand. So everything I say falls onto my shoulders. It doesn't fall onto a website's shoulders or other people's shoulders because although they'll probably try because, you know, guilty by association, um, listen to some music sometimes. Guilty by association, tried by who I know. Um, but I, I thought that was an interesting thing. And maybe, maybe to some degree I am, you know, but I just, it's hard for me to consider myself that because at the end of the day, I'm a guy with a microphone, a camera, and some editing software. You know, I didn't go to school for this. I didn't train to be a journalist. This all, uh, I didn't train to be a YouTuber. This all just kind of happened, very happenstancely. So maybe, maybe that's something I need to think about when I say things like that in the future. Because while I don't consider myself to be a journalist, I'm just a person with opinions. Maybe other people do. And you know what? If you do, that's fair. But I say all that to say, I have no ill will towards any of these people. It's all good. You know what? It, it, it's all good. If you don't like me now, you don't want to be friends with me now, you don't want to associate with me now, you don't want to watch my content now, you don't want to follow me on social media now, that's fine. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't live on social media. You know, if, if Twitter went away tomorrow, some of these people would lose their minds. I wouldn't care. <laughs> like, it would probably be nice. You know, that's, that's one less thing I have to check to see, oh, God, did I do something now? But, like, you know, it, it's all good at the end of the day. It was, it was a very enlightening experience. It was a very enlightening experience just to see how people sort of reacted to this and just to see how people that I felt like, you know, I was cool with just to see their reactions to some of these things and their what they said about it. It was very eye opening. And like I said, I have no ill will. But as Pastor Troy said, I can forgive. But I can't forget. Just jotting down these notes, folks. But yeah, there we go. That's all the drama. Hopefully that's the, that's the only drama for a while. Like drama's tiring, dude. It's like. Because <laughs> what ends up happening is your friends just start saying, oh, look at this. This dude said this about you. Oh, this person said this about you. They just said it to you. And you're like, wow, th this got a lot bigger than I anticipated. But hey, you know what? It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Like I said, no ill will towards any of these people. It's all good at the end of the day. It's video games. It's talking about the video game industry. It is what it is. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you guys for agreeing with me. Thank you guys for disagreeing with me. Thank you guys for questioning me sometimes when I say things or do things. I mean, that's that's the way life should be. You know, you shouldn't just listen to one person. I'm not your Jim Jones yet. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.